Hey there, Wad here. We are in Sacramento, California at African Attire. It's a clothing store and they sell other items as well. Now, there's a reason I'm here. You see what I'm wearing? It's called a dashiki. A couple days ago, I was in the presence of some young children and I wore this shirt and they were actually, they were not black. And one of them said, ooh, what kind of shirt is that? And another one said, you. Another one said, cool shirt. It just so happens that my host there, she said, don't ask those kind of questions. Don't say that. That's, I said, no, it's okay. This is a time for us to educate. So we did a short lesson and we talked about the dashiki. Now, dashikis have been traced all the way back to uh, grave sites, or I guess you can call them tombs, in Mali to the 12th and 13th century. The word dashiki comes from the Yoruba language from the country of Nigeria on the continent of Africa. Let's do a little bit of ge uh, geography here. Uh, Africa is a continent of 54 different countries. Six of those are island nations. I have had the privilege to visit 10 of those countries. And it's very special because Africa is a place of hundreds and hundreds of different languages and cultures. When I often wear clothing like this, I'm usually greeted with strange looks or sly remarks or off-colored jokes from people who want to be recognized as African Americans, but yet they despise some of the things that connect us to our culture, connect us to our ancestors. Jay King on Curls, African attire. I've uh, been doing the clothes for about 18 years. And when I first started, uh, 1988, and had a couple other shops just for braiding, but they, uh, most of the clothes, they come from um, Ghana, Ivory Coast, Togo. Now I'm getting some from Nigeria. All the face masks, maybe uh, Ghana and uh, Nigeria, some from Ivory Coast. Uh, that's what I just specialize in and whatever size you want you have a picture of it Go to a tailor get a measurement and then I can order for you. Dashikis became popular during the 60s and 70s uh, during the, the black movement the black pride movement uh, Because this type of clothing it separated us from the establishment and like the Black Panthers and other black movements They wore dashikis to say look we don't we don't identify with you. We identify with our culture and our roots. I'm Kirk Wadi. Be woke, be attentive, have destiny, but most of all, be intelligent. We'll see you next time. Remember to like and subscribe if you see what you like, if you hear what you like, share. I don't care. Just friend us. We'll be there. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.